Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the vlog. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys something that I absolutely freaking lutely love. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you would know that my channel name earlier was SJ Loves Jewelry, and that's because I truly do love jewelry. I feel like any outfit, and especially Indian outfits, are incomplete without jewelry, and there's a reason why I'm not wearing any right now. That's because I wanted to share with you guys five trends that I think are a must-have in your wardrobe for the festive season and for the wedding season. These are going to be some pieces and some trends. That that you can wear and rewear easily. These are not heavy bridal pieces or just you know over the top jewelry that you can't repeat very easily. But these are pieces that are so easy to incorporate in all of your outfits. So yes, if you want to see what these jewelry trends are for the festive season, then please keep on watching. The first jewelry trend that I'm absolutely loving are chunky bangles. They're making a comeback and they're here to stay. Now we have a couple of different options and you really don't need a lot with them. Just wearing one is going to be enough. The first option I have is this Meena and Kundan bangle which is really really bold. Again you just need one of it and your hand game is done. Then we also have these velvet bangles which look so beautiful. Again it has Kundan work on it which I love. And lastly we have these really traditional bracelet bangles. Now these are are called pochi in at least Rajasthan. I do have uh, these in my family heirloom as well. I don't know what it's called in other languages but I think you can also call it a gajra. So we have that and these look so stunning. You can also layer them if you really want to go for a heavier look. For example, I love to wear my pochis and this velvet bangle as a stack. So stacked chunky bangles and chunky bangles in general are the first trend and I think you should absolutely grab at least one or two pieces and you can mix and match them up. For example, you can just wear a gajra and and this chunky bangle because a mix and match again is a huge trend you don't need to stick to a particular style you can just pick nits bits from here and there and just create your own style the next jewelry style that I'm loving are oversized studs. Now studs are more wearable than say a chanbali or you know jhumkas or really really huge earrings and oversized studs again are here to stay. There are a couple of different ways in which you can play them up. For example you can get studs like these which are really really huge and they look beautiful with any Indian wear or if you're not so huge with the earrings you can just go for big bulky studs. They again look very pretty and they go with almost anything and everything. So if if you want to grab something that's super super versatile, won't wear your ears down and won't make you feel like you just want to get done with the event and get your jewelry removed, then go for oversized studs. You're going to love it and they just add a lot of drama without the weight and without the ear pain. Third on my list, we have no studs. Slightly on the bigger side, not supremely huge, but slightly on the bigger side. Now this is a clip-on and it's not painful at all because you can adjust it to whatever thickness that you want it to be on. So it's perfect for people with really sensitive nose, especially like mine. I don't like to change my piercing quite frequently. So I just pop this on on top of my piercing and it just hides my nose start and just still gives me a really, really nice and different look. If you just want to switch up your look really quickly, pop one of these on and you would be surprised at how different you look. Very easy to wear, very low maintenance, no pain, no nothing. You don't even need a freaking piercing for this. So it definitely has to be one of the jewelry trends that you need to get on board with. Next up on my list, I have open necklaces. I like to call them reverse hustle necklace because hustle is generally open from the back. This is open from the front. This just adds so much character to any outfit because it's so different and so unique. Silver jewelry right now is being really overdone. Some styles especially are just so overdone. You can find them everywhere. So this is such a nice fresh element to it. It just looks so beautiful and so unique. You can get such necklaces in a gold color too if you're not a silver jewelry person. But I feel like because this is something so unique and fusion-y, it looks better in silver especially if you're going to be wearing a plain black kurta just pop this on and you are ready to go and the last jewelry trend I want to talk to you guys about is Meenakari now traditionally Meenakari was done on the back side of Polki and Kundan pieces just to make it look a little bit more refined and polished but now it has taken the front stage and I couldn't be happier because my mom does have a couple of Polki and Kundan sets and I've always wanted them to be reversible Meenakari is too intricate too pretty and too colorful to be not worn out like that now I have have kadas right here which can elevate any basic outfit that you might be wearing but you do get meenakari in so many different jewelry styles for example those big meenakari pendants which have just strings of beads attached to it you can definitely get those or no spins or oversized studs meenakari is here to stay sadly i am not because i'm done talking about the trends that i wanted to share with you guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed this do let me know which trend is your favorite or a trend that you might try out this festive season and if you do try any just tag me on instagram or comment below once you do try them out i would love to know also let me know if you'd like to see more such videos where we could talk about different 
you know fashion pieces for example must have dupattas or must have kurtas or whatever it is that you want to see i would love to do it for you guys and yeah that's going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this i will see you guys tomorrow with another video till then take care i love you all so much bye